I believe there's no code. Ah, uh, wana sema mwana mimi ni effort ama aje. Mwana mimi ni kujituma. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome to yet another season of the IHNDY series. Season 1 was really great and uh, I hoped you learned and you grew. Now we are here back with yet another season. Now as usual we learn from the best, you know that. And today we have none other than the president, Sio Kenya, <laughs> <laughs> of Tangaza <laughs> University College in Karen. And uh, without further ado, allow me to introduce to you the gentleman sitting here. I'll give him time to introduce himself and uh, share with you not only who he is but also what he is. Mr. President, Karibu san. Asante sana uh, It's a great sana. honor to accept my invitation. I am very grateful. Thank you. Now, you mind telling us who you are? I consider myself as a mango tree <laughs> simply because <laughs> <laughs> a mango tree in the desert or a mango tree in a semi arid area will give you shade, it has deep roots to its identity, mm -hmm. and when there's nothing sweet to eat, you can always get a fruit from the mango tree. So that is who I am in a nutshell. All right. Mr. Mango Tree. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enough with the analogies. Yeah, so my name is Michael Timona. I am the chairperson slash president of Tangaza University Students Association. And um, that's pretty much me. I'm currently taking a course, a Bachelor of Arts in Social Communication. And uh, I'm a communicator. I like doing live stream. And give me a microphone, I'll definitely speak. Since you mentioned that you are a chairperson slash president, what's your understanding of leadership? For me, leadership is you guiding people. You are the one to help people even make a decision. Because the minute you make a decision as a leader on behalf of your team, your team is not involved. They won't own a project. They won't give themselves fully to the decision that has been made. So that's why I call myself an enabler because before even any decision is made, before we come to a conclusion, I'll have to get feedback from people that are, rep that are representing a certain group of people. So that when we make a decision, it's a unanimous decision that cuts across each and everyone. And when people own a decision, this is when you actually get to see impact. Because you'd be a leader who's not making an impact. This happens because there's a difference between a politician and a leader. We have so many leaders who are not in leadership. That's a fact. But we have so many politicians who are not leaders. So that's what actually cuts across the line. What qualities do you think someone has to have for them to be categorized as a good leader, as an efficient leader? Um, first and foremost, I believe the utmost skill for a leader is communication. Are you keeping in touch with your people? Do you listen to your people? That is what defines a good leader. Because when you strike a balance in communicating with your people, with your audience, it makes you a leader. Because you get to understand from their rationale the challenges they are going through. These people that you're leading, some of them are very intelligent. They're actually somewhat intelligent more than the leader. As a leader, can you humble yourself, sit down, and listen to your people? What ideas are they giving you? Because when you work as an island, as I said earlier, you're not going anywhere, you're not leading anywhere. You're only leading your self-interest mm -hmm. and you'll not have any significant impact mm -hmm. when it comes to leadership. Anything else that makes a leader? Um, definitely, there are more mm -hmm. in terms of uh, transparency and accountability. Mm -hmm. um, this resonates to almost everything that requires finances, mm -hmm. that requires decision making. Mm -hmm. As a leader, how are you making decisions for your people in closed doors? without representation. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you need to evaluate how open and transparent are you to your people so they can trust you. When you get into leadership, the people give you the leadership virtue because they trust you. Mm -hmm. 
the problem we get with leadership is once you get into position you want to work as an island you are afraid of even letting your people know what is going on because you feel like they'll attack you it's not attacking i call it positive criticism because you look this person has a point probably i did a b c and d and i need to rectify on c so that this is going to be successful so i believe those are a few attributes i'd say a good leader needs to have because it's a two way street it's like a relationship mm-hmm. the problem with this relationship mm-hmm. is you're like the father of a family mm-hmm. when the father of the family decides something the whole family has to comply the breadwinner mm-hmm. the family has to comply mm-hmm. but now with leadership what what makes it different is these are not your children mm-hmm. these are your peers some are even older than you some are more intelligent than you how are you going to lead all these people to follow your decisions and that is an inclusive practice now let's come to um, to tertiary education mm-hmm. uh, you get to tangaza and uh, i actually noticed mm-hmm. i noticed you long before i even knew you because uh, i could see you doing stuff here and there and i actually thought you are part of the leaders there only to realize that actually <laughs> <laughs> you aren't anywhere in the in the students representative council yeah How was your leadership journey in, in in campus? When I got to campus, I was a bit naive because this is a whole new experience. Yes. I'm from high school where by everyone is a Kenyan or at least I presume mm-hmm. everyone is a Kenyan. Mm-hmm. Everyone is an African. I come to campus, this is very different. Mm-hmm. There we are mixed both foreigners mm-hmm. and Kenyans. Mm-hmm. So I was a bit shy, I was a bit reluctant. But the minute I got accustomed to the to the environment I started noticing these gaps. So I'm like, okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. But how can we do this because when the people actually go tell them, they tell me do it in writing then bring it back to me. We all know how these offices work. We all know how some <laughs> leaders are. You write a very good proposal, you write a very good deal, mm, it but it's filed. yeah, it's filed and thrown <laughs> under the dustbin. Uh-huh. So I got the desire to to vie for the position of the academic secretary mm-hmm. i believe that was in 2019 mm-hmm. if i'm not wrong mm-hmm. unfortunately i lost the position with only six votes Whoa. despite being a first year student Whoa. in tangaza so uh, despite being my bro, being naive <laughs> <laughs> being everything first year you're going for academic secretary. imagine wow. i went for it at my first year right. so after that i did my diploma mm-hmm. something told me don't be depressed mm-hmm. if you find something to do do it mm-hmm. Then being the youth that I am I like going for events mm-hmm. I like socializing I like activities that's who I am as I said I'm a man of the people where people are mm-hmm. that's yeah. why I am mm-hmm. so I actually wa- I vied for the position of a organizing secretary mm-hmm. that was in 2020 I vied for it but I lost by a margin of 0.2% I really can't give you the numbers because mm-hmm. I had 49.49.2 not even 0.2 and there and the person who won roba he actually mentored me mm-hmm. he had a 49.8 oh. so the gap was really really small mm-hmm. and people told me don't give up don't lose hope mm-hmm. sometimes it's actually the people who are around you who give you strength mm-hmm. if you're in a toxic environment people will laugh at you it's mm-hmm. not like they didn't even laugh at me mm-hmm. some of my close friends I had to cut them off because you can see there's joy in their heart and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the joy in your heart mm-hmm. when when one person wins in the team mm-hmm. the whole team is winning because I might get an opportunity mm-hmm. that might benefit the entire team. Yes. So mm-hmm. at some point you actually come to realize who are your friends mm-hmm. who are not true to you mm-hmm. you decide to cut them off and start looking for new networks. Mm-hmm. I believe that's when I actually started to understand what networking is and what friendship is. Mm-hmm. A network mm-hmm. this is someone who's not your friend. Mm-hmm. This is someone who knows you. This is someone who knows your skills, what you can do, what you can deliver. Mm-hmm. And it's just a phone call away. But your friend mm-hmm. can know everything about you, mm-hmm. can know all your amb- ambitions, all your desires mm-hmm. and make that phone call about a favor and a friend can easily let you down. Talking out of experience. Wow. So, that's I can deep. say <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can say that's how it is. So at that time I was actually granted an opportunity mm-hmm. as a marketing assistant for Tangaza. Mm-hmm. So I worked there for I believe 
six months. Mm -hmm. That was the year of COVID. Mm -hmm. And they extended to me a work study program contract that actually ended this year in March. It was my option actually not to extend the contract because it was when I was actually elected as the president of Tangaza. So I'm telling myself I need to balance my social life, my spiritual life, my academic life, my leadership life, and this office. So at times when I talked about you have to look at priorities, I felt that I've already set a foundation for the marketing office. It's just enough for me to live and enable other people to get into that position. Other than trying to hold everything together, mm -hmm. I get overwhelmed mm -hmm. and that's when things start to collapse. Mm -hmm. How did the presidency happen? The presidency happened, mm -hmm. <laughs> I thank my, my former boss, All Mr. Right. Ken Nganga, the marketing officer mm -hmm. of Tangaza. Mm -hmm. When I lost the position of the organizing secretary, mm -hmm. he came and told me, mm -hmm. and I'm not censoring this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken, <laughs> you're on the spotlight now. <laughs> <laughs> Timona ulianguka kwa sababu ulitaka kuanguka. Those were his words. Instead of me getting offended, I even sat down because he told me this when I was standing. I sat down and I asked him, Ken, what do you mean? He told me, the energy you have, the drive you have, and the person I know who you are, you sell yourself short. And that is why God did not give you that position. I sat down and reflected mm -hmm. and what Ken was trying to tell me is mm -hmm. you had the potential to go for presidency. Why did you go for a seat mm -hmm. that is less of your capacity? Which is true. Mm -hmm. So I kept Ken's words were always in my mind, always in my mind, playing, playing back, playing, playing back. Mm -hmm. So when, when the positions are declared vacant, mm -hmm. people are telling me, oh, Timona, don't go for presidency, leave for me presidency. Mm -hmm. You go organizing secretary, you know, you know how to organize events, <laughs> you know how to coordinate <laughs> things. Yeah. But I'm like, no, uh -huh. I was given an advice. Yeah. And if I don't listen to it, I'll be the bigger fool. Mm -hmm. So other politicians in Tangaza would actually call me out and tell me, Timona, mm -hmm. leave this go for something else mm -hmm. and i was like no i've already decided i know what i want mm -hmm. and uh, it's true being a people's person um the students voted mm -hmm. fair and square mm -hmm. counting was done on the same day mm -hmm. it's not like the ballot slept overnight <laughs> there was no there, were, um, there, there was no <laughs> peak nature immediately balloting was done mm -hmm. counting was done in public mm -hmm. one timona one 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 counting and it was mm -hmm. done tallying mm -hmm. physically and mm -hmm. each and every person in that ballot mm -hmm. had an agent to confirm mm -hmm. of what is happening mm -hmm. so i can say ken was my big motivation mm -hmm. and uh may god bless him wherever he is because Amen. i call him also an enabler because if he didn't grant me the opportunity in that marketing office mm -hmm. probably some of the capacities that i have as we speak mm -hmm. i wouldn't have had them all right and now uh you got sworn in as the president of tangaza and uh it's been how many months now uh, it's barely a month it's barely a month yeah so what has changed in you that you feel if you aren't in that position it wouldn't be the case i can say my communication skill had to up its game mm -hmm. so i can say communication is a skill that i'm actually building being in leadership delegation of tasks then definitely how i carry myself around mm -hmm. that definitely had to change yeah, it has to change you're so not a public figure you yeah know, you're an icon <laughs> you know, you're representing tangaza it's yes. not only mike it's know. not only mike anymore so tangaza really mm -hmm. is on the line of how i do my things mm -hmm. i can say also in terms of um proposal writing mm -hmm. it's a concept that i only had and i never knew it actually worked mm -hmm. then the issue of um dealing with high profile people mm -hmm. how to be diplomatic mm -hmm. um how to listen to people how to make decisions mm -hmm. these are very crucial elements that are very essential in leadership mm -hmm. i believe those are a few things that i'm actually learning mm -hmm. how to do and uh i believe we're going to to have success in this term now uh, i remember when you're campaigning uh you know you are presenting your manifesto on uh, what you feel you, you'll do for the people who will vote for you. Uh, among the many gaps you noticed in Tangaza, mm -hmm. what in your opinion do you think was the greatest gap that actually you are dedicating, uh, you are dedicating some considerable amount of effort 
to fill? The biggest gap that we have in Tangaza is I tend to believe some students are not proud of being in Tangaza. Okay, why is that? This is because you might ask a student of Tangaza outside the gate of Tangaza and you've seen this student <laughs> walk out of Tangaza, <laughs> you ask them. <laughs> Which university are you in? Mm -hmm. They'll tell you they're in the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Oh, and right. I wonder why <laughs> you're in Tangaza. Mm -hmm. We might be a constituent college, but on up mm -hmm. to your home. If your home is Tangaza, mm -hmm. stick to Tangaza. And I know why they are like that. Why are they like that? Because students of Tangaza are not empowered. To be very honest, there are so many social gaps in Tangaza. Okay. Look at sports. If Tangaza sports was flourishing 100%, I am telling you, Every student of Tangaza will be walking proudly saying, I am in Tangaza, I am in Tangaza, I am in Tangaza. Mm -hmm. But if the sports are not empowered, if drama club is not empowered, if you don't have any social activities for students, if you don't have any academic activities for students, trust me, they're not going to own up to Tangaza. Because they feel, I'm only here to read and go. There's nothing tangible for them. There's nothing that gives them an identity to Tangaza. You might want to compare yourself to a student in the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm to other great universities. Mm -hmm. But remember one thing, all of these universities started somewhere. Yeah. We are in the journey of greatness. Mm -hmm. Some of the manifesto ideas that we had will only lay a foundation mm -hmm. for the next leadership to take over. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's work in progress. Mm -hmm. On up to Tangaza, mm -hmm. come to our events, participate in activities, mm -hmm. and we'll definitely see Tangaza flourish among students themselves. Mm -hmm. Ever since you were uh, sworn in as the president, uh, you know, I follow you on social media and I've been seeing you post uh, stuff, you know, the, the little milestones you've been having. And I noticed that uh, you've been actually in contact with some, some serious individuals in society. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, the other day you were you are, you are having a meeting with the current university students association or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. uh, the other day you were hosting uh, the member of parliament for Langata, mm -hmm. uh, Jalango, and you know many other many many other things you've done. Mm -hmm. If you are asked, what is it that you've actually um, harvested from all these opportunities that you feel is a life hack for people of your age? Because. Um. Um, it is one thing to be knowledgeable, another thing to be educated, mm -hmm. another thing to be intellectual, mm -hmm. but then to be a jack of all trades, that's something not everybody wakes up, to, uh, wakes up for. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my honest opinion, you seem to be that guy, the jack of all trades. What's the code? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I believe there's no code. Wana sema mwana me ni efo, tama aje. Mwana me ni kujituma. Seriously, you're a leader. You, you, your people have given you power. Let me just call it power. To go and approach these people. Your people have trusted you to go and represent them somewhere. You can't just be that leader who's always sitting down. All opportunities come to you, surely. You won't get anything if you're just there, dormant, doing anything. Even in a simple class setup, you notice there's a difference in the performance of a class rep and the student who walks in, walks out. Simply because this class rep gets the notes first, then shares to the rest of the students. This class rep will get the course outline first, then share it with other students. Some students will not even take time to go through that course outline, will not take time to go through the notes. Simply because they don't really own it. So I believe um, to answer your question is it's actually owning what you have. Okay. Owning and to understand the limits of your, let's say, potential. Mm -hmm. And to try to overcome your limits. So that's the only code. Mm. Hakuna other, um, other shortcuts and backdoor deals. No, no, no. Ni kujituma, ni kujituma. You might even be in the shopping. We in Karen, I mean. You might be at the hub. Mm -hmm. And you meet anyone, anyone prominent. Wajakoya. Wa, even Wajakoya. <laughs> Why should you just sit back? Mm -hmm. Go shake his hand. Hi, I'm so and so. Mm -hmm. I am from Tangaza. I am doing A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. And we are thinking that we can work together with you. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. All these people need to hear is you have brains. You know how to implement ideas. 
very easy to get their contact kujituma hakuna hakuna backdo <laughs> hakuna ati eni, ni kujituma wewe umeamka saa ngapi ujitume mm-hmm. simple as that right. so uh, maybe just wind up mm-hmm. uh, the current governor of uh, Nairobi county mm-hmm. Johnson Sakaja is someone i i am a fan of mm-hmm. uh, and uh, listening from what people say and what he himself has said he began his um, political journey in in campus mm-hmm. then later on things happened things unfolded the way they have been unfolding and now he's the current governor of um, Nairobi of Nairobi county and uh, in one interview i i watched he was telling uh, Churchill Churchill was the interviewer he was telling Churchill uh, the next milestone is actually presidency mm. Now you who is beginning right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're not beginning, you're just, you know, in the journey. Now you're the current president of Tangazo. Where do you see yourself in 5 years as far as leadership is concerned? Um that's a good one because I'm someone who believes uh, at times you need to keep your dreams for yourself. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> in honor of you um uh-huh. and for your show and for your viewers, uh-huh. in 5 years I'd like to see myself on a regional level uh not really i'm not interested in uh, in kenyan politics i'd like to see myself probably in the united nations um this ngos that's why i see myself because i believe i have the capacity to serve there because being a leader you serve you don't really work you serve so i believe the capacity i have um in five years I should be able to have gotten to such a pos- to such positions the African Union the East African community mm-hmm. I believe that's where I'm targeting mm-hmm. local politics itabidi munione kwa view sasa that's not our thing that's not our thing all right. <laughs> yeah all right thank you so much uh, now tell these people whatever it is that you feel is important for them for their consumption mm-hmm. yeah it begins now practice individual responsibility Everything that I've talked about is individual responsibility. Yourself when you see something is wrong with the relationship, something is wrong at home, something is wrong with the administration, take yourself and do the thing that will make it right. That's individual responsibility. My I hope my 5 seconds are <laughs> over. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much uh Bwana Timona Michael. Uh, I'm honored to be to be part of your subjects. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am proud to have you for my president in school and uh, I'm honored to be your friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope you'll come back again to this show. Definitely. To give us knowledge and wisdom. Actually, he was supposed to be in the first uh, in the first season. But then they say God's timing is the best because uh, around that time he was, uh, you know, running up and down with the campaigns and I decided to respect uh, his priorities because I didn't want to bother him so much then um, who knew that we'll be here again to open the season two with the president himself so asanteni sana thank you so much timona and thank i you. hope to see you again thank you uh all the best in your leadership in tangaza thank you uh, i know tangaza is um, is an interesting place to serve it is <laughs> <laughs> and so i just want to wish you all the best as you maneuver through uh, all the challenges all the difficulties there and i am confident that those who voted for you won't regret for sure don't make us regret ah. <laughs> 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 you won't regret right. yeah you won't regret yes, so yeah. sad. for our continental viewers everyone around the globe i understand the internet is a space for everyone uh, tangazo university college is a constituent college of the catholic university of eastern africa we are located in Nairobi, Kenya, in Karen, Langata South Road to be precise. We offer courses in theology, education and social sciences. So if you're interested in joining Tangaza University, um, check out our website www.tangaza.ac.ke. Thank you. So until next time, peace and blessings upon you. Tupatana in the ca- in the coming episode. Michael. Yeah. Asante sana. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I understand.